so good morning everyone so let's continue with uh, today's uh, session so yesterday i covered uh, methods and this uh, local and global variables concept now let's move on to the next one that is uh, classes and objects okay classes and objects So this is a very important topic, guys. Okay, everyone has to, you know, listen to this very carefully. It is a very important uh, topic when compared to others, right? This is very, very important, okay? So if you have to understand the object-oriented concepts of Java, definitely classes and objects is an important topic that you guys have to understand. As we already know, classes will enclose both variables and methods, right? Correct or not, guys? Classes enclose variables and methods. So what variables, what is the purpose of variables, guys? Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of the variables? What is the purpose of these variables? We know classes will contain variables and methods, but what, yeah, store the data. Variables will store the data. Then what is the purpose of methods? What is the purpose of the methods then? If the purpose of the variables is to store data, then the purpose of the methods is to contain the programming logic. We'll write the programming logic inside methods. Can we write the logic outside the methods? No. Okay. Inside the methods only we have to write the programming logic. Like addition of uh, addition, addition method if you create. The logic for doing addition should be written inside addition method. Logic for writing uh, multiplication will be writing multiplication method like that. The logic will be write, written inside the, to write the pro, pro, programming logic. Yes, you guys are right, guys. Okay, to write the programming logic, we need methods. To store the data, we need variables. And both the variables and methods will be there inside what? Both the variables and methods will be inside what? Classes. Right, correct. You guys are perfectly following me. Okay, I can see that. Good to know that everyone is following the session properly. So now, let's move on to the next thing that is objects i'll explain something about real interesting stuff guys objects that you all guys have to listen to me carefully you see before i explain anything about objects you have to understand something about real world entities real world entities what does real world entities mean it can be anything that you can see in the real world anything that we can see in the real world. Before me, I can see a lot of stuff. Like, you know, I can see a water bottle. Okay. I can see laptop. Okay. I can see mouse. Okay. I can see mouse pad. I can see a table. I can see a chair. Okay. I can see a mirror. Okay. I can see a uh, photo frame, I can see a pen, I can see a book, okay, anything that I can see in this real world, okay, I can see some tree, okay, if I go onto the road, if I go onto the road, I can see a lot of cars, car, I can see a house, I can see a building, right, I can see a lot of stuff outside, right, like, uh, outside I can see, lot of things okay i can see a shop many many more things all these things are known as what real world entities whatever the things that we see with our eyes in this real world are called as what case type everyone type in the chat box whatever the real things that we see outside in this world are called as what like water bottle laptop pen mouse pad everything Real world entities. Everyone has to type in the chat box what they are called. Real world entities. Everyone type. Yes, they are called as real world entities. Right, correct, correct. So, these are the examples of the different real world entities. Your examples may differ from my examples. Whatever you see in the real world may be different from whatever I see in the real world. Okay. Right. Fine. Now, the challenge comes where if I want to represent 
any of these real world entities into Java programming. If I want to represent any of these real world entities, entities into the Java programming, what I have to do? If I have to represent any of these real world entities in the Java programming, then what I have to do guys? What I have to do if I have to represent any of this real world entities in Java programming? I have to create what? I have to create what? Yes, you are right, Rajkumar. We have to create objects. Okay. These real world entities can be represented in Java programming as what? Everyone type the answer in the chat box. These real world of, uh, entities. If have to represent in the Java programming, we have to create what? Objects, which is very important. This is very important concept, guys. This is where the starts. Object-oriented things stop. No one understands. Everyone explains object-oriented like anything on the fly. It's not like that. The main concept is in Java programming, you can represent the real world entities. And in order to represent these real world entities, we have to represent them as objects. This is the main thing. Main thing that everyone has to understand in Java programming. Okay. Here where the stuff starts, the real thing starts. Okay. Real world entities to be represented in Java programming. We have to create objects. Guys, okay. Yeah. That's where we are going to create the objects. But how to create the objects is a question. But how to create the objects is the next question, right? How to create the objects? With the help of what we can create objects? With the help of what we can create objects? Anyone can answer? By using what we can create objects? Yes, class is the answer. Class is the right answer. Please. Without class, we cannot create objects. Okay? Without class, we cannot create objects. <laughs> Why class is required to create the objects? That's a different thing. Okay. But in order to create objects, we need a class. So here, if I have to explain about class, class is a template. We can call it as a template or we can call it as a blueprint or we can call it as a factory for what? For creating what? Class is a template or blueprint or factory for creating what? Objects. Right, guys. Right. Okay. Class is a template or blueprint or factory for creating objects. You see, first thing is that in order to represent all these real world entities, whatever the real world things that we see in this real world, to represent in the Java program, we need objects. But to create objects, we need class. And class will act as a template or a blueprint or factory using which we can create objects. That's what is the thing. Okay. Hope the things are clear so far. Class is a template used for creating objects. But how to use the class for creating the objects? I have to cover, right? So far clear, guys. So far <coughs> the theory is clear. Just type C or S in the chat box if it is clear for you. <clears throat> concept about class and object. If it's clear for you, type C in the chat box, guys. Okay. This is very important. Okay. <clears throat> then let me open Eclipse ID here. Meanwhile, so now I'm going to show you the next question is what? I told you we have to use class as a template or blueprint or factory. Class is a template or blueprint or factory for creating objects. Okay. Objects are the representation of real world entities in Java programming. Okay. What are objects? If someone asks you, objects are the representation of real world entities in Java programming. What is class? Class is a template or blueprint or factory for creating objects. So, no. Okay. The relation between class and objects. But how to create? But how to create objects? Using this class, using class, using class, how to create objects is a question that I have to show you practically only, right? That I have to show you practically only. So let me open this Eclipse ID and show you. 
<clears throat> let's wait for the eclipse id to launch after that i'll show you practically how to create objects with the help of the class okay so a lot of new dimension of stuff will start today guys today is very important class okay? why we should create object to represent the real world entities in java program means why we will represent any example please uh that that will come that will come now okay 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 whatever the example right uh, why it is required and all why we have to represent real world entities uh, what is advantage and all you will see practically now okay <clears throat> fine okay yes so fine so here is the tough stuff uh, we already have the project we already are using from the long back I'll just open that and here I'll create a new package. Don't worry about packages. Packages I'll cover later. It's a very simple topic that will be covered later. But for now, for my purpose, I'm creating a package. Uh, I'll simply say class object classes. Uh, otherwise, uh, classes uh, objects. Okay. I'll just create this package name. You see, whenever whenever I'm creating a package, uh, what is the naming convention I'm following? It is neither lower camel case neither upper camel case all the letters whether how many words are there multiple words also are there completely lower case we have to give whenever whenever you create a package you have to give the entire lower case letters okay that you remember for a while now i'll create a class why i'm creating a class why i'm creating a class guys to create the objects okay the purpose of me creating a class is to create a template using which I can create objects. Earlier, I was creating the classes to run some program with the help of main method, right? Earlier, I was creating the classes to run the Java programs, to run the Java programs with the help of main method. By writing some logic in the main method, I want to run the code. But now, my purpose has changed. The purpose of creating a class now is to create a template using a class. I want to create a template using the class. That's the main purpose I'm heading towards, okay? I'll just take one example of a class, like I'll just give the name for the class as what? Car. Car is the name I'm giving for the class. I don't want to use main method. My purpose is not to run, run the code using main method. Rather, I want to create a template for this car class. Okay, I want to create a template for the car class. <clears throat> the moment I create this car, this car template, I want to design or create. So, how the template will be, what generally the car will contain. I have to create some variables. What does the class contain guys at a high level? What does the class contain? Class will enclose what? What does the class contain? Variables and methods that I'm going to create. In order to create the template of the class, inside the class, what I'm going to create? Variables and methods. With the help of variables and methods, I'm going to create a template for this car class. A, re a realistic template I would like to create. String, string. Well, uh, first thing about car that we observe is uh, car. Uh, I'll I'll say company, right? Company, companies, car company. Then model, car model, right? To describe a car, we need a company model. Then double. What is the price of the car? Then double. What is the mileage of the car? What else? What else we can? String. What is the color of the car? Like this, we can create some. We can. I can create any number of. To describe this car, I can create a lot of variables, but uh, you know, I'll just stop here. Yeah, fuel capacity, uh, engine, engine type, all those things I can create the variables. But I'm just stopping with this. Uh, this is simple an example, right? Uh, I cannot create the entire car template before you. That will take long time. So I'm just sticking to these five variables for now. Okay. Then along with this, I'll create some methods. Okay. I'll create some methods inside this class. Not only I'm creating variables. Along with the variables, I'm going to create some methods. Public void. Start car. Start car is one method. Okay. Start car is one method. 
and inside this method i'll write some i have to write some logic to start the car but uh, here i'll just use the help take the help of a print statement to see whether the start card start card has been executed or not so by writing uh car from this company yes these are global variables right you are right these are global variables mahesh you are right okay these are global variables car from plus this company having model what is the model this particular model plus model has started okay has started i am writing the print statement like this so this is a start car i have created i can create one few more methods public void public void stop car public void stop car system dot order 20 and again the same thing instead of writing the real logic for stopping the car i am writing the print statement at a high level for our understanding car from this company having model having model i am using this plus as a concatenation operator you can understand right okay having model this particular this particular model has stopped okay has stopped has started has stopped now one more method also i'll create as a sample i am creating just three methods in but in real time if you have to re really create a class template lot of variables lot of methods will come but here only example purpose i am creating right so only sample methods i am creating public void car details okay car details so here i'll simply say system dot out dot 20 ln company of the car is plus company then system dot order 20 ln model of the car is plus model then system dot order 20 ln price of the car is plus price this particular price okay then system dot order 20 ln mileage of the car is plus this mileage system dot order 20 ln color of the car is plus color this color clear so far guys how i created a car class template for example how i created a car class template is clear for everyone some global variables and some three methods since these are global variables i am able to access these variables inside every method here okay these global variables can be accessed throughout the class i explained yesterday right global variables can be accessed throughout the class in every, in every method i am able to use it you see company model here company model price mileage color i am able to use in every method okay throughout the class i can use this global variables <clears throat> okay where exactly it's not required here ended right in which line you mean to say pavan any particular line double quotes are ended here uh, and uh, here i'm i'm uh, using concatenation operator to concatenate with uh, it's not required it's not compulsory that double quotes should be there this is a variable right for variables you don't have to surround with double quotes variables don't have to be surrounded with variables or numbers don't have to be surrounded with double quotes in java variables and numbers don't have to be surrounded with double quotes here i'm using concatenation operator till here only string text and that is getting concatenated with a variable variable don't have to be surrounded with double quotes okay numbers don't have to be surrounded with double quotes okay simple so here you see i didn't surround this uh, here plus is there plus is there but this variable i am not surrounding with double quotes only the text i am surrounding with double quotes this this is string literal string literal need to be surrounded by double quotes okay like that
whatever the things you are using in the print statements, what type they are. This is string letter, should be surrounded with text kind of thing, should be surrounded with double quotes. Okay, here variables should not be surrounded with double quotes. Like we already discussed about literals, right? The way the literals should be there. Character literals should be surrounded by single quote. <clears throat> if you are using character literal inside the print statement, surround them with single quote. Okay? If you are using a string literal, double quotes. Number, no need to surround with double quotes or anything. Okay, directly use. Variables, directly use. <clears throat> like that, guys. Okay. Fine. So, any doubts so far? Guys, any doubts in this uh, program I have written? I created a template. In this main method, it's not there. Just observe, guys. The purpose of this particular class is to not run uh, this code with the help of main method. The purpose is to create a template. I've used this class to create a template. Okay? Just to create a template. Okay? I created this class. If these things are clear so far, type S in the chat box. Otherwise, ask the question, guys. Okay? Type C in the chat box if it is clear for you guys so far. Otherwise, ask questions. Okay, great. It's okay to ask any number of questions, guys. Okay. I'm saying that it's very important also for you guys to ask the questions. Okay. So Nagwini is asking me why didn't we, why did not we create the main method? That's a good question. Okay. So, because I told you already, the purpose of me creating this class is to create what? Objects. The purpose of the class is to not run the code. Rather, the purpose of this particular class is to create, use the class as class for creating what? Template Narvini. Okay. I want to create this class with an intention of creating a template like this. Okay. The template. This is a template only. It's not, uh, you know a class where you create a main method and run some programs. That's not the purpose. That's why I have not created the main method. Yeah, how the code inside this uh, car class will be run? That's your question, right? Nagwini, that's your question, right? How Then how the code inside this uh, car class will run? Right, that's the question, right? That's what is coming up, okay? Just wait, Nagwini, you'll understand. You'll get the answer for that particular question, okay? Fine. Now, yeah, Aaron, one question yeah. is like, uh, if we are running this code right now, what will be the... We cannot run it actually. Like... We cannot run it actually. It is a template only. Okay. This okay. class doesn't have any method. So if you right click and say run as, you will not get any option to run. Am I getting any option, Java mm -hmm. application option here? No. Why? Main method is not there. But still I am creating a class. As a template only I created. By itself I cannot run this class. Okay. Okay, but yes, the execution, Nagwen, you are right. Execution will start from the main method, right? Correct. Okay. Yes, Abhi, you are also right. Okay. I'm going to create another class. So the main purpose here is using this class as a template. I would like to create what? This class is acting like a template create to create what? I want to create what? Yes, tell me. Here, all the explanation. Class is a template or blueprint or factory for creating what? Object. I want to create now objects. That's the main purpose I created this class as a template. By using this class, I'm going to create objects. Where? I'll create another class. I'll just create another class, guys. I'll just name this as a demo class, for example. You can give any name. I'm just giving demo class. And here I'll I'll create a main method. Okay. Either I can select this checkbox and create, or after I go to this. I'll just drag this this side so that you can see both the classes. This is template class. This is a template class. And this is another class. I'll just minimize this one. So that uh, you can see this car class template. And this is a demo class. Inside this demo class, I'm going to create main method. Everyone is uh, kind of surprised, right? When I create the car class template, where is the main method? How the code inside this uh, car template will run without the main method, right? But uh, for that purpose, I'm creating another class. For that purpose, I'm creating another class. And control space main method, I'm creating the main method. Okay. I'm creating main method. Inside this class, I'm creating a main method. Now I'll run all this stuff from this main method. Okay. So in this another class, I created the main method. Now inside this main method, inside this main method, where the logic has to be written every time, what where the logic has to be written inside the methods or outside the method logic. 
logic should be written inside the methods. Even object creation also should be done where object creation, including object creation, should be written inside the methods. Object creation should also happen inside the method. Okay. So here for this car class template, using this car class template, I would like to create object and that objects I'll create inside the main method. Okay. For now. You can create in non-main method also, but in main method, I'll show you first. Okay. So which keyword I have to use in Java for creating the objects? There's a keyword in Java for creating the objects. What is the keyword that I have to use? The name of the keyword is new keyword. Okay. Everyone understand a new, a diff, uh, a diff, uh, new keyword has been introduced. Okay. There's something new I am introducing you guys. The name of the keyword is what? New keyword. Okay, new keyword. Followed by new, I have to give the name of this class for which I have to create the object. Car. Okay. Followed by this keyword in Java, I have to give the name of the class and then put circular brackets like this. Put a semicolon. Why circular brackets? I'll explain later. But for now, understand till here. I have to use a new keyword followed by the name of the class and why circular brackets and all will come later. Don't worry about that. Okay. This will create an object. This simple statement will create an object for the car class. Understanding guys, this is the actual statement for creating the object for this car class. Okay. The moment I say new car in the computer memory, what will happen? In the computer memory, what will happen? Let's say this is a computer memory. Let's say, uh, let's say this is a computer memory. Okay, let's assume that this is a computer memory. In the computer memory, what will happen? Some memory will be reserved for the object. Object will be created, right? Yes, object will be created. Object will be created. Here already using the new keyword, we have created an object for which class? For car class, we have created an object. Using car class, we created an object using the new keyword like this, okay, by writing the statement. The moment I create an object in the computer memory, what will happen? Some memory will be reserved for the object. So object one, I'll say object one for now, okay? So some memory got reserved. Some, so in this computer memory, some memory got reserved for this particular object one, okay? Object one, some memory got reserved. Fine, that's happened. Now, what I will do is, you see, like similar to variables, in order to refer to this memory location, variables are nothing but the name given to the memory location where the actual data is stored, right? Similarly, object is also a memory location, right? Can we remember memory location address? Guys, can we remember memory location address? Is it possible for us to remember the memory address? like phone numbers and all in our mobile phone. Every phone number can we remember? No, right? We need to attach some name, person's name to that. Similarly, we have to attach some name to this particular object memory also. Some object memory with some random number 1100110, like that kind of thing got created. That number we cannot, memory address we cannot remember. So we have to refer it with some name. That name is called as object reference. What is that name called as? Everyone type in the chat box. That name that I have to use for referring to this object memory is called as what? Object reference. Everyone type in the chat box object reference. It's very important. Object reference. It's called as object reference. Yes, object reference. I'm giving some name here. Okay. So before I give anything here, the name, how to give the name then? The programmatically, how to give the name? Here I'll say. I'll take one car in the market, okay? A real world entity I would like to represent here. A real world entity I'm going to represent here, okay? Object is nothing but a representation of a real world entity. So that real world entity name I will give here. For example, I'll give something as uh, H-A-M-Z. Why I'm giving something H-A-M-Z? Short form for Honda Amaze. Everyone know about Honda Amaze car, right? I'm taking that as an example. Honda Ames. Honda, H for Honda, AMZ for Ames. I'm just giving a short form here. Okay. That's fine. I would like to represent a real world entity known as Honda Ames car in this program. Okay. 
So the moment I write this, uh, this object reference, right? So the moment I write HAMZ, HAMZ is a object reference, which will refer to the object that is created by this statement. Okay. So here, what is object reference? HAMZ is object reference. HAMZ is object reference, which is a name like a variable, which will refer to the memory location of this particular object. Okay. In the computer memory. That's good. But here, there is an error coming because every variable, do we declare the variable with some data type? Guys, if you say some a is equal to 5, we have to declare that a with some data type, right? Int, int kind of data type we have to declare, right? If I create a variable like b is equal to 5.5, .5, which data type I have to use? Double data type to declare that variable. But here, hamz, which data type I have to use? To declare this hamz with some data type, I have to use a data type or what I have to use to declare this? Type your answers. Class name. Payal is saying class name. Vijay Robert is saying class name. Maha is saying string. Few people are saying string. Few people are saying the class name. The answer is the same car. With the help of the same class name that is car. I have to declare that. Error will be gone. Able to understand this, guys. How to declare that object reference? Same class type. Okay. This object reference of which type? The class type. It's not int data type or float data type or double or not neither string. It is the class type. Okay. Car with the same name of this class. I have to declare this object reference. Okay. I'm declaring this object reference with the help of the name of the class. Fine. Clear guys, clear types in the chat box. If this statement is clear for you, this statement created the object and to refer to this object, we created the object reference and that object reference should be declared with name of the class. Okay. That's how to understand. Now what I can do with this object reference. Okay. The once I create this, uh, what I can do with this object reference, you will understand now. Okay. You see, Hondames. Hondames. What is the company of Hondames? What is the company of the Hondames? What is the company Honda? What is the model of the Hondames? What is the model of the Hondames? Ames is a model, right? Ames is a model. What may be the price of the Hondames? Roughly? Roughly? You can tell me in lakhs. Yeah. 12 lakhs. 10 lakhs, 8 lakhs, average will take 9 lakhs. Okay. Let's take 9 lakhs. Okay. Mileage. What may be the mileage of the Honda Maze car? If it is a petrol version, what is the mileage? Yeah. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now I'll take 14 for now. Let's say. What, what may, uh, color may be different for every Honda Maze car. Let's say it's a gray color. Okay. Let's say it's a gray color. So all this, uh, Variable values, how to assign these uh, variables with, uh, how to initialize these variables with some values, right? Guys, how to initialize these particular variables with values or not? How to initialize these variables for this particular object? With the help of object reference, you have to write the answer. If I have to initialize the variables for this particular object, for this particular class, I have to use what? With the help of what I can initialize these variables? With the help of object reference, type the answer, guys. Object reference. Using object reference, yes. Using object reference, we have to initialize the variables. Object reference is the answer. Okay. So how do you do that? I'll show you right. Okay. I'll take this object reference. H A M Z. H A M Z dot dot. First one is company, right? You see, company is already coming. Company. Company is equal to, I'll give some company that is Honda. Honda. The moment I say like this, HAMZ dot company is equal to Honda. In the computer memory, in this uh, memory that is re uh, reserved for this object, what will be stored? Honda. Okay. Company is equal to Honda will be stored. Okay. Then the next statement, if I write HAMZ, dot model is equal to maze if I write. If I initialize this particular variable of the class for this particular object using Honda Amaze object reference like this, HAMZ dot model I have to say. is equal to Amaze when I say that 
in the computer memory what will happen in the computer memory model is equal to amaze will be stored okay model is equal to amaze will be stored next i'll just uh, pick pick up okay the next one is hamz uh, dot price price is equal to i'll just give the price as you see this two variables are string variables uh, so i'm getting assigning the string values but price is double variable double declared variable so i can uh, you know give decimal value here price is like uh, uh, 9 lakhs right so i can give 9 9.5 okay let's say 9.5 lakhs hamz dot mileage what is the mileage we decided to be 14.12 okay let's say 14.12 is a mileage then color i have to give hmz dot color color of the car is gray color let's say gray color okay that's it i'm done with this uh, initialize all these variables got initialized right with the help of object reference of this particular object okay so i'm representing a real world entity or not guys am i representing a real world entity or not this object with the help of object i am able to represent a real world entity or not a real world thing that i can see in the real world i am doing in the programming right the program i can get it right get it done so now after initializing this there is few more things that are there in the class apart from the variables what are there in this particular class template apart from the variables what are there in this car class template methods how to call this methods then how to call this methods after initializing this variables of this car class template with the, by creating an object and all those stuff object reference and all okay how to call this methods yes the answer is by what guys everyone type the answer using what i can call this methods using this object reference i created the variables i, I initialize the variables of this particular for this object okay so in the computer memory also everything has been stored like you know price is equal to 9. Point, uh, what is that uh, i gave 9.5 then mileage is equal to 14.12 i gave then color is equal to gray i gave okay so all this happened because of the object reference initialization is done but to call the methods also same thing we have to do h a m z dot start car h a m z dot stop car h a m z dot car details okay like this i can call the methods okay using object reference only i need to call the methods okay using object reference only have to initialize the variables using object reference only i have to call that class uh, call the methods okay now one object i represented and i initialize the variables of the particular class and for that particular object and i call the methods for that particular object can i run this code now yes can i run this code which is inside the main method is it possible to run the code yes or no this time can i run this code or not because there is a main method means i can run right So let's run the code. Right click, run as. Now I am getting Java application because main method is there. I am running it. Let's see the output. Car from Honda having model Amaze has started. Car from Honda having model Amaze has stopped. You see, wherever I put the company and model in the print statements, right? It's taking in place of company. Honda is coming in place of model. Amaze is coming. Then started stop two methods. You see start car method called because of that this print statement has been printed. Stop car method has been called. Okay, <clears throat> stop car uh, method has been called and car from company uh, car from Honda having model Amaze uh, has stopped. And last one was. Car details. When I say car details, company of the car is Honda. You see all these five print statements. Company of the car is Honda. Model of the car is Amaze. Price of the car is nine point five. 
mileage of the car is 14.12 color of the car is gray okay right so these methods have been called properly and the initialized variables have been printed in the print statements of these methods yeah pavan you are saying something I have a signal problem at the time of object reference can you please uh, tell tell me how to get the object reference how do we get the object reference i'll tell you again okay so uh, forget about this uh, you know uh, pavan i'm going to create one more object now you just carefully understand now okay fine so this is only one object can i create only one object or i can create multiple objects guys for using this car class template can i represent only one object one real world entity or multiple type of cars i can represent multiple not single it's only one car honda maze car there are many cars in the market i can represent with the help of car class template so let's represent one more car if you have to create another object what i have to do new car again new car like this if i write an object will be again in the computer memory some memory will be reserved for another object that is object two that is object two okay that is object two yes right object two and uh, now how to refer to this particular object like uh, like variables uh, pavan this is for you since you asked me the question right pavan just observe here pavan okay so so the memory got reserved in the computer but this memory will have some address right pavan like uh, pavan interact with me okay so here some memory address will be there like 1011 can we remember that memory address pavan no sir no that is not possible in variables also same problems right variables are nothing but the name given to the memory location where the data is stored right pavan similarly yes, here object is also a memory which will have the address and uh, to refer to that uh, memory of that particular object also we need to give some name or not oh, yes sir we need to give. yes that name is nothing but object address okay okay that name is nothing but what in case of uh, data stored into the variables the name give, uh, given to the variable variable is nothing but name given to the data stored at the memory memory location address okay of the data for, but for addressing the data sir mainly yeah for uh, for referring to this memory location where the object is created uh, for object reserved memory to refer to that object memory right we need object reference here we are not calling this as a variable okay it's not a variable it's a object reference able to understand power oh, sorry, sorry. and using this object reference we can we can uh, refer to this variables and all okay uh -huh. able to understand uh, sorry sir not Okay, Pawan, let me explain again. You see, you created an object, right? The computer yes. memory create an object, right? Yes, sir. The moment you create an object, what happens internally in the computer memory is some memory will be reserved, okay? In this entire computer memory, some memory will be reserved for this particular object. Okay. okay? This object will have some address like this, 10111011. Can you remember this address? No, sir. Okay. But I have to I have to refer to this uh, memory in the Java programs, right? Okay. This memory I have to refer, right, in the Java programs. So what yes. I have to do in because we cannot remember this memory address, like we cannot remember phone numbers. What I will do is I have to give some name to this memory location. Okay, sir. That name is nothing but what? Object. object. Okay. So for Got example, it. in this case, did I give any object reference name? To this memory location so far not in the programming i have not done that just object has been created some uh, some address has been reserved for the object but now i am going to give the name which is nothing but the object reference okay name okay. to refer to that address i am giving okay so because we cannot remember the memory address i am giving this name okay so okay. i'll take this as uh, you know i'll take one more example so svdi okay M S V D I. Like the sum name I am giving. Uh, let's say Marty Swift uh, V D I. Okay, Swift okay. V D I is a model, and Marty is the name. Like that, just short form I am giving. Some name I am giving. Why I am giving this name? I am explaining. Okay. Like here I gave Honda Miss H A M Z. Okay. 
here I am giving M as VDI. Mark mark this with the VDI. Okay. Like that yes. I am giving some name. Okay. To this particular class. Now, this is the object difference. Now, here we have given M yes VDI as a name. This this is the object reference. This is what is object reference. Now is it clear for you, Pawan? What is object yes, reference? Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now using yes, this sir. object reference, we can do a lot of stuff. Okay. But before we do a lot of stuff with this object reference, error is coming because in variables we declare the variables with some data types. Right? We declare the variables with, for example, if you are storing a is equal to five, okay. So that variable a should be declared with in data type. If you are storing, let's say 5.5 into the B variable, B is equal to 5.5, that B variable should be declared with double data type, right? General. Yes. But here, this particular object reference should be declared with which data type? The class. Class, class is a data type here, okay? It's a class type. It's a class type, okay? It will not be int, string, float like that. It will be which type? Class type. We have to declare this object reference with class type. That is a car class type for which you have created the object, right? Same class we have to give. Now you understand the object creation statement, Pavan? Yes, sir. Clear, sir. No. Okay. Thank you, sir. Fine. Now using this object reference, what we have to do is, here there are some variables. I have to initialize the variables. To initialize the variables, what I have to use? Object reference I have to use. SVDI start, I have to say, and I'll get all this class-related variables. That is company. What is a company? Marty is a company, let's say. Okay. And right here. The moment I say SVDA.company is equal to Marathi, in the computer memory, in this particular object reserved memory, company is equal to Marathi will be stored. Okay. Similarly, if I say SVDI dot model, then here Swift VDI is a model. Okay. Swift VDI model will be coming. Then SVDI dot price if I say let's give some price like you know eight point uh eight point three lakhs okay as a price then if I give SVDI dot S uh W S W V D MS MS we thought right MS okay let's give MS only why to confuse okay MS VDI right Marty Swift VDI MSVDA. You can give anything, that's okay, but I'm just uh, following something because the diagram is different, right? So I'm just making sure everything is same. Mileage is equal to mileage, uh, let's say more mileage, uh, 23.64, uh, let's say. And then MSVDI, Marty Swift VDI dot color is equal to, let's say, red color. Okay, like this I gave. Now, what happens in the computer memory? The same details will be stored in the uh, object memory, which is a result for that particular second object. Okay. Model is equal to <clears throat> Swift VDI is a model. Then price is equal to price is equal to what? Uh, some eight point eight point three is uh, lakhs is the price and mileage is equal to twenty three point six four uh, the mileage I guess. Then uh, yes. color is equal to red. Okay, like this, all the data has been stored in this object reserve memory. Okay, now to this uh, to this memory location where these details are stored, object reference is there. Using object reference, we can access right. We are initializing also with the help of object reference. Done. Now, apart from these variables, we have methods also like start car, stop car, car details. How to call these methods of this uh, for this particular object? How to car call these methods of this class with the help of same object reference? MS VDI dot start msvdi dot start msvdi dot car details okay like this okay now how many objects i created first object and i initialize the variables of the first object and then call the methods of the first object then i created another object i initialize the variables of the second object i call the methods for the second object also okay yes right now let me run this. <clears throat> right click run as job application. <clears throat> car from Honda having model MS has started. Car from Honda having model MS has stopped. Company of the car is Honda. Model of the car is MS. Price of the car is 9.5. Mileage of the car is 14.12. Color of the car is gray. This is still Honda. 
Honda means. Now next details are for Maruti. Car from Maruti having model Swift Video has started. Car from Maruti having model Swift Video has stopped. Company of the car is Maruti. Model of the car is Swift Video. Price of the car is 8.3. Mileage of the car is 23.64. Color of the car is red. Okay. So what I will do is at the end, I will give one print statement. It's intentional. Okay. So that, uh, you know, a line I'll draw so that in the output will make a difference. It will make a difference in the output. We can clearly see this one car details, this another car details. Okay. Like that. Okay. That's the reason I gave line here. Okay. Now I'll create one more object. I want to create one more object. I'll create fast here. Okay. New car. Okay. So I'll just name this as uh, HYI20. Okay. So the moment I say new car here in the computer memory, Memory will be reserved for another object, object uh, three, and here object reference I am giving it as what? What is object reference here? HYI twenty. Okay. Yeah, HYI twenty. Okay. HYI twenty. Okay, HYI 20. Yeah, I got a question actually while I'm doing this. I understand first class created only for template and second class created with main method and uh, call methods. Can we create Can we create and execute in single class? Yes, that is possible. That is possible, uh, Jilani Sheik. Okay, that is possible. But let's not go there. But let's not go there. Okay, this, this will be easy for to understand. Okay, I'm using this as a template. I'm using this as a something for execution okay this class for execution this class for creating a template okay this class for uh, you know execution purpose by creating objects and executing okay but uh, this main method you can also write inside the car class and uh, you can do the same stuff inside the same class also okay that is also possible okay that's also possible okay but let's not do that you see these things will if i write everything inside this class can you see these two interfaces together this class you cannot see side by side right again i have to scroll up down up down up down that won't be good Able to understand why I have taken this kind of approach. If I write this code inside the same class, I have to scroll up and down for each and everything. Okay. Rather, I can see side by side, right? That is more better. Fine. Anyhow, car I'll say. Now, initialize the variables hyi20 dot company. Sorry, dot company dot company. Is equal to what? Hyundai. HY I20 dot model I20 model. HY I20 dot size 12 point H likes. Let's say HY I20 dot mileage. Let's say it's giving only 10, 10.11 kilometers per liter. Let's say it's giving, okay. HY20 dot color. Let's say it is white color. So all these details will be stored where? In the object, of, uh, in the memory object, okay. Objects memory, in the objects memory of this particular HY20 object reference object memory, it will be stored, right? So here I'll be writing. So company is equal to Hyundai. Model is equal to I20. Price is equal to 12.8. H. Mileage is equal to 10.11. Then color is equal to white. Like this, I stored. Now, how many objects I created so far? Three objects. Now I can call the methods also. Using this object reference, if I call these methods, this objects related methods will be called. Okay. According to this object details, the, the methods will be called. H Y I20 dot start car. H Y I20 dot stop car. H Y I20 dot car details. That's it. Three. Three objects. Right click and as the application. Car from Hyundai 
having model i20 has started car from hyundai having model i20 has stopped company of the car is hyundai model of the car is i20 price of the car is 12.8 mileage of the car is 10.11 color of the car is white all good so far everyone clear so far i see in the chat box if everything is clear so far for you guys Great. So, yeah, I have one, one question. Yeah. Please, please. Uh, yeah, uh, for initializing that object, we use the class name, then object preference is equal to new, then again class name, right? Class car of. Uh, what is that again? Tell me. I'll repeat your question. Yeah, initializing for initializing that object, uh, uh, that means car, that uh, H A M S. Statement you are. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So for creating for an object, first one is sir. yeah, first one is class name, then object reference, then mm. e equal to, mm. then new keyword, mm. and then car of class name, class name, only. Car, class name. That class name, right? Class name. That's the class name only. This part will create okay. the object. And to this object, we have to refer using the object reference, and that object reference should be declared with the same class. Okay. Uh, that that op, that the uh, open and uh, bracket is this necessary. This part will right? cover. This part I'll get to there now. Okay. Oh, okay. This okay. part is not uh, explained anyhow. Okay. This class is okay. this part is not explained right now. That part I'll cover. Okay. For uh, you have to wait for a while. Okay. So fine. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay. now what I will do is uh, I'll just uh, close these things for a while. Why? Because I need to give this uh, as part of the code reference and all for you. I'll create one more package. I'll just name this as, uh, you know, constructors. Okay. Constructors. And uh, sorry, I just created a class. Uh, okay. Let me delete this. Sorry. I have to create a package actually. Why I'm creating this is, you know, I don't want to disturb this code. I, I want you guys to practice this code. Okay. That's why I don't want to alter this code. Okay. So I'm just keeping it so I can give you as part of, uh, you know, in Telegram group, I can give you the code for this. So you guys can practice. Okay. That classes create, creating and objects creation and all those stuff. Okay. I'll create another package. Constructor style. Say. And uh, I'll just copy these two things again. Okay. Because I have to work on them. I, uh, they will get modified if I do the changes here, right? They will get modified. That's the reason I kept it as a reference. Okay. Now in this constructors thing, we'll go to the next part. Again, I'll open the same thing. Okay. Now, can you see the both the things as, a, as it is, right? Same, right, guys? There are no changes. Same thing. Same class template, objects creation, three objects we created, and all those stuff. Okay. Right. Now, what the problem is, whenever I create an object, whenever I create an object, how many, how many times, how many statements I have to write to initialize the variables of this particular class? How many statements I have to write for every object to initialize the variables of this particular class in this example? Five. If there are 10 variables, 10 statements I have to write here. For every object, five statements. For this object also, five statements. If there are three objects, three into five, 15. 15 statements I have to write. If there are 100 objects created, 100 into five, how many, how many lines I have to write for initializing the variables if there are 100 objects created? 100 into five, 500 lines I have to write. When the number of objects increase, the number of statements I have to write for initializing the variables also will increase. Multiplied by that number of objects, 100 into five in this case, 100 objects means 100 into 5 in this case, 500, that is too much. So what I'll do is, I'll I'll simplify it. Instead of writing five lines here, for every object, instead of writing five lines, I'll make it one line. Is that a good thing? I'll convert this into one line. Will that be a good thing, guys? In single line, I can initialize these variables. Will that be a good thing? Right or wrong? Right. That is definitely going to be a good thing. But how that is possible? I'll tell you the answer. So here in this template itself, in the car template itself, I am going to create a method public wide. Okay. You can give any name for this method. Okay. You can give any name for this method. 
I'll say initialize uh, car variables like the second say or I initialize okay some method I'm creating and just giving some initialize uh, name okay so this method does it have any parameters here does this particular method have any parameters so far now when I create no no right zero parameters but I am going to create the parameters how I am going to create the parameters I'll tell you the same thing the same thing I have to copy paste string company copy and paste it here this is our first parameter comma string model the second parameter comma string double price comma what is the next one double mileage comma then next one string color these are parameters these are method parameters string company string model double price double mileage and final one is string color these are the five parameters i created now what i will do is from this particular from this particular main method once i create the object instead of initializing each and every variable like this for every five statements i'll simply call this method initialize method h a m z dot initialize to this method how many arguments have to pass total how many arguments have to pass five parameters are there means five param five arguments have to pass or not five arguments have to pass i'll pass them now yes five is the correct answer here already the you know things are coming so here the first part i'll pass this one honda second one i'll pass maze third one i'll pass 9.5 fourth one i'll pass 14.12 which is a mileage fifth one i'll pass the color of the car now if i do something like this this honda this honda will go into this parameter company amaze will go into the parameter model 9.5 will go into this uh, price 14.12 will go into this uh, mileage and finally the gray color will go into this color right now i have to assign these values to this uh, class variables or not this parameter whatever the data that these parameters are receiving from these arguments do you have to assign it to this class variables or not yes or no guys do you have to assign the data that is received by these parameters to this class level variables or not global variables or not so that all the methods can access these global variables right all these methods can access global variables can all these methods can access these parameters can these methods access these parameters no that's not possible these are local only for this particular method only these parameters are there they cannot be accessed outside the method but in order to make this uh, data accessible outside the methods in all the other methods have to assign this data received by these parameters to this global variables so that the global variables can be accessed throughout the class and that will be possible that's the concept clear everyone type c in the chat box if this concept is clear for you <coughs> Yeah, fine. So I want to assign that. So I'll just take this company and say company is equal to what? Company is equal to this company, parameter company. And I'll say take this model. I'll say model is equal to this model. Yeah, I'll explain Nagmini. Yeah, I'll explain using the doubt session. Okay. It will it you will understand, no problem. Okay. Price is equal. This price is equal to this price is equal to global variables. Is equal to this price. Okay. Tomorrow, if required, Nagvin, I can repeat. Okay. Don't worry. This has to be completed at a go. Okay. That's the reason I'm covering this. Then mileage is equal to this mileage. I can repeat it tomorrow, guys, if you have any doubts, no problem, okay? But I have to complete this today itself, okay, as a book. 
that's the reason I am covering this. Okay. Color is equal to this color. Okay. Try to focus. Try to focus. Don't give up. Okay. So, but there is a problem in this. What is the problem, guys? If I double click on company, what is getting highlighted? Parameter or this global variable? Parameter or this global variable? Parameter. If I double click this side, again, what is getting highlighted? Parameter or the global variable? This side also parameter. This side also parameter. This side also parameter. This side also parameter. That means, am I assigning parameter to the global variables? Am I assigning the assigning the parameters to these global variables? No. I'm assigning the parameter to parameter only. Does that make any sense? Does that make any sense? It doesn't make any sense. So I have to give a different name. Let's say give C here, M here, M for model, C for company, P for price, M I for mileage, C O for color. Like this, different names I'll give. Now in this case, company, now global variable is highlighting. Model, global variable is highlighting. Price, global variable is highlighting. Mileage, global variable is highlighting. Color, global variable. But here, I'll simply say C, M, P, M, I, C, O. Now, this parameter, this side, parameter. Is that good now? Is this good now, guys? Is this good? Am I assigning the parameters to the global variables or not? Yes. I'm assigning the parameters to the global variables. Okay. I'm assigning the parameters to the global variables. Now the initialization is done. That's good. Now I don't need these statements, right? I don't need these five statements. Have I reduced five statements with one statement or not? To initialize this, sir. Uh, five variables, I just calling this method with the help of the method. I overcome this. Now I can do the same thing for this one. Also, I don't need these five statements. What I have to do Nagwini, tell me what I have to do instead of these five statements. What I have to do Nagwini? You can speak up. Uh, same thing. We need to repeat uh, hmm. uh, all the variables the we should pass in the single line. How, MS, how? msvdi dot initialize msvdi dot initialize this method i have to call the method yes. i am using for initializing the variables that's only right yes initialize so here i need to pass maruti yes sorry i'll just copy it from there and paste it there swift vdi i'll copy from there and paste it there 8.3 i'll copy from there and paste it there then 23.64, I'll copy from here and paste it here. I'm passing them as arguments. These are all called as what? Nagwini, what are these called as? Arguments. These are arguments that I'm passing to the method. These arguments will be received by the parameters of which method? Initialize, initialize method. method. You can give any name for this method. It's I'm just giving initialize, but you can give it initialize car, whatever the name you want to give, you can give. Now, what is the concept are... name of this concept there, name? There is no concept name. I'll tell you okay. later. It's just okay. a method. I'm using a method for initializing. Okay. There is no concept. Okay. Okay. So these statements are required now? No. No. I can remove them, right? Yes. I can remove them. Okay. So I'm able to reduce five lines to one line now, as I promised. This five lines also I can do the same thing. Yes. H Y I20 dot, dot initialize. initialize. Right. Okay. And I20. I20. And just passing like this instead of initializing with five statements. If there are hundred objects, imagine Nagwini, what will happen? Right? If there are hundred objects, do I have to write five statements for every hundred object? No, right? Just one mm -hmm. statement. Yes. So instead of five hundred lines, I reduce to hundred lines in term in terms of hundred objects. Right? Yes. yes. That's what is the thing that I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Now this is done. This part is done now. Now for three objects, just three lines I have written. To initialize, right? Now, the concept is I don't even want the single line. I don't even want the single line. Without the single line only, I want to do. Still, I want this particular variables to be initialized, but only with single line I want to do. I don't even want the single line to initialize. I don't want to call this method. 
is there any way the answer is constructors what is the answer for this using constructors i can even eliminate this line also able to understand nagvini what i am saying yes sir if i if i want to remove this line still i want to initialize these variables i have to go with what everyone type in the chat box what i want to do to reduce this single line also i don't want to even want to write the single line to initialize this variables i have to go for what next level is what constructors okay constructors i have to take the help of constructors i'll do one thing i'll just uh, convert this as uh, rename this right click uh, refactor how to rename i have to rename this package i have to right click on the package refactor rename i'll just rename this say okay and i'll just name this uh, as a um, method initialization initializing using methods initialize with methods i'll say okay say continue initialize this with what i want uh, you uh, you guys to have this code that's why i'm creating copies multiple copies i'll close all this stuff i'll create one more package now known as be with me for uh, you just uh, two or just five minutes max okay i'll complete this because this concept has to be completed at a go otherwise you guys will not understand okay so cl objects classes then uh, you know object reference creating objects object reference then initializing the variables using object reference calling the methods with object reference then Uh, reducing the number of lines uh, by creating a method for initializing the variables of the class everything has to be understood in a single go that's the reason i'm taking this much long be with me i'll complete this in five minutes copy this again and just paste it just for reference i am doing this all these things we will practice by tomorrow okay anyhow i'll open this class again demo so my my target is what what is my target now what i am aiming for tell me guys what i am aiming for what i am aiming for i want to reduce this line that's what is my aim right i want to reduce this single line also not three lines this single line into one uh, this single line i want to make it to zero okay the single line i made why i want to wait make it to zero okay i am trying to reduce this line also here to initialize this particular variables I have used what method i have used what for initializing this uh, particular uh, variables i have used what type in the chat box what i have used for initializing this uh, variables of the for every object to initialize the variables what i have used method <clears throat> i have used method but in place of the method what i want to use what i have to use to reduce this particular line what i have to use in place of that i have to use constructor constructor but how to create a constructor guys how to create a constructor you see there are few rules for the constructor that you have to understand that is the name of the method should match if i have to convert this method into a constructor the name of the method should be same as the name of the what class the name of the method should match with the name of the class so i'll just copy this car and put it here now it's now the name of the method matches with the name of the and one more rule with the uh, constructors is constructors will not have any return type like methods will have return type right constructors will not have return type so is there any requirement for me pr to provide void there if the constructor doesn't have return type no i have to return the void here now the constructor is done i have successfully created a constructor guys that's it nothing there is no magic in this very simple i converted a method into a constructor now the name of the constructor should match with the name of the class that's first thing and other thing is the constructor will not have a return type that's the only difference between method and a constructor now this has become a constructor now this has become a constructor now what i will do here is someone was asking me why there are circular brackets here right you guys were asking me why circular brackets are here because i am calling what tell me guys what i am calling here i am calling what this is what constructor calling statement like we are calling a method here 
while creating object only we are calling what a constructor so all these arguments i'll put inside this constructor calling statement do i need this statement now to initialize the variables i'll remove this <clears throat> able to understand now constructor car parameters arguments done while creating the objects only the variables of the object are getting initialized is that very simple or not is that good or not navin can you understand this Uh, not fully sir okay fine okay so where are you lagging and can you pick out mm. it anywhere any place actually i need to start to office so i am not able to oh you are in a hurry yeah huh? fine fine, yeah. fine i'll complete it uh, just give me a second okay i am completing it okay you can revise the video again okay when we are free again okay from the okay. record tomorrow if any doubts are there i'll clarify for you Or else okay. you can leave now because already I completed this, right? You can leave to office now, okay? No problem, okay? Okay. I'll, I'll just do the same thing for the remaining things, okay? You can leave to office, okay? No problem. Ah, uh, till the classes and objects and passing values in the uh, same line till there it is clear. After that we are getting confused, I think. Ah, uh, no else. problem. I'll I'll cover it. I will clear your doubts tomorrow. Don't worry, okay? You can leave for today. No problem. Okay. And also make sure that you watch the video again, okay? When you are free time. Once. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. Now also I'm listening, but I'm getting ready. No problem, no problem. Uh, go, yeah. go, go ahead. <clears throat> no problem. Okay. Okay. Fine. <clears throat> here, here again. You see, you are getting error because you are calling a constructor, but is this constructor empty? So here, zero arguments. Can you pass to the uh, constructor having multiple parameters? Is that possible, guys? No. So what we have to do? Again, these arguments we have to pass in the constructor. I'll repeat this, guys. Don't worry. I'll repeat this tomorrow also. I'll repeat this if you want. Okay. Don't worry about this. Just try to follow this as much as possible. Okay. I have reduced the line. The main intention is to reduce the lines. Okay. From five lines, I came to one line. From one line, I came to zero line. While creating the object only, the constructor is being called. This is a constructor calling statement. Earlier you were confused, like. I say new car, but why I'm putting the circular brackets? Because this I'm creating as a constructor, car constructor, constructor, constructor. The purpose is to simplify the initialization of the variables. The purpose of the constructor is to simplify the initialization of the variables, where you don't have to even write a single line to initialize the variables. Earlier you were writing five lines. I reduced it to one line when with the help of methods, but with the help of constructors, I went to the next level where I don't even need a single line to call the method. Automatically, this constructor is being called when the object is created. That's what is the thing. Now here, we we'll copy this and paste it here. Anyone having doubts, just stay there. Okay, I'll clear your doubts after this. Okay, I'll remove this line. Now will the thing work? I'll run this code and see whether the things are working or not. Am I getting the same output or not, guys? Am I getting the same output or not? Car from Honda, uh, having model Amaze started. Honda Amaze nine point five and all the stuff. These are Marte details. These are Honda details. Everything is working fine still with simplified code. Okay. <clears throat> Now you can ask me the doubts, guys. You can ask me the doubts uh, regarding hello, anything. Sir. Hello, sir. Yes. Yes. Uh, sir, so starting from object object creation. Uh, mm. What is the advantage of creating object? And what mm. is the reason? Uh, why we are um, from object creation to um, method calling? Uh, means for what advantage? From method calling to initialize the variables. Ah, uh, what is the advantage we are doing that? From there onwards, what is the advantage we are moving on constructors? Mm. Uh, which give um, one by one ways. Okay. First of all, first of all, why we need to create objects? Can you answer me? Why we have to create objects? For a particular data. No, that's not not the main reason. Why we are creating objects in Java? To represent what? To represent real world entities. Real world entities. Whatever you see in this real world, if you want to get all these real world things into programming, that's a beautiful thing or not? 
that's a good thing or not you see the programming need to be involved with the real world activities right for example there is a bank you want to write some logic for bank bank will have a lot of stuff bank is uh, hdfc bank is there icica bank is there access bank is there these are real world entities banks are real world entities that real world entities if i have to represent in programming i need to create objects but how to create objects for that i have to create a class a template i have to create so if i have to create a uh, real world objects uh, real world entities like uh, i have to create objects in java programming like hdfc bank icic bank access bank or something kind of bank if i want to create i want a template what template i want bank template i want okay i'll create a bank template another example i'm telling bank template in the bank template i have to create variables and methods like you know what will be there in the bank uh string account type 1 is equal to savings string account type 2 is equal to current account or whatever it is string or else string account type let's say string uh, you know bank name string bank location or something like that okay so some details will give and bottom what will give methods what will be the methods actually deposit money into the bank withdraw the money from the bank transfer the money from one bank to another bank these are all methods okay deposit a check into the bank okay uh, close the account in the bank open the account in the bank all these are activities, right? All the activities will become methods in the class template. And for that class template, you will create objects here. Using the class template, you will create objects here because there are number of banks, not only one bank. You have to create objects. Every bank will be an object here. But to initialize the data for that particular object, object-related data, if you want to initialize, what we'll do? We'll use an object reference, okay? Using object reference, we'll initialize, right? And after initializing, there is a problem that if you have five variables, how many lines you have to write for every object to initialize? Five lines. For every object, I have to write five lines. That's a problem. But if I don't want five lines, I want only one line. In place of five lines, I want only one line. Then what I have to do? Only one line I want to reduce. So then what I have to do? I have to create a method to initialize. To initialize, I have to create a method. Using method, I want to initialize the variables. By passing this uh, val uh, arguments okay, from the method calling statement, we'll call the method in the template and then initialize the, uh, you know, pass it to the parameters and then initialize the global variables. Initialize the global variables, right? Once we initialize the global variables, we simply have to use one line or five lines now. The one line. Only one line. But I am saying that I don't even want that one line. Then how that is possible? Yeah, through constructors. I have to change the method to what? I have to convert the method into what? Constructor. Constructor. So automatically, without knowing, right, the constructor is being called here. Okay? When you are creating the object, you are calling a constructor. Without knowing, you, you don't know that. You are calling a constructor here. Okay? But when you intentionally create a constructor here, these arguments that you are passing from the constructor calling statement will be passed to the parameters of the constructor and they'll get initialized. Is, is a constructor simplifying the uh, initialization process or not? Yes, sir. So, what is constructor if someone asks you? Do you have to use method here for initializing or constructor? Which one is better? Method for initializing the variables or constructor is better? Constructor is, is better. better. Why? Because the main purpose of the constructor is to simplify the initialization of the variables of the class. Able to understand? The main purpose of the constructor yes. is to simplify the initialization of the variables of the class. Okay? Yes. So that's the reason we are heading to constructor. Okay? So tomorrow I'll repeat it again, guys. Don't worry. I'll repeat it again for the people who have not understood something, right? Don't worry. I'll repeat it again, okay? So today you try to practice and tomorrow you, to, you come to the class. I'll repeat it again so that, um, okay, you'll, you'll, you'll understand this stuff, okay? That's the thing. Uh, sir, uh, do you yeah. have a separate course sir, for objects, for methods, and uh, for constructors for the same? Uh... I, I didn't get that. Come again. 
yeah uh, you have written from starting right sir from uh, oh, yeah for separate uh, code have written for uh, you know object creation separate code have written for method uh, i mean initialization using methods and separate code i have for in initializing using constructor also the reason here is i want you guys to practice okay yeah thank you sir then fine yeah i'll i'll share that okay yes sir yeah thank you abhi okay so these things i know very important i'll repeat it if required not a problem guys there are few more things that are coming up tomorrow i'll cover along with this repetition of the today's class tomorrow and uh, i'll cover few more stuff okay so any other doubts guys any other doubts uh, sir, class class car lo okate constructor unda chaala unnaya sir ippu okate constructor only one constructor only one constructor అది పబ్లిక్ కార్ ఇప్పుడు హైలైట్ చేశారు అది కన్స్ట్రక్టర్ ఆ అదే కన్ యస్ దట్ ఇస్ కన్స్ట్రక్టర్ రైట్ కరెక్ట్ అండ్ ఇవి టు డిఫరెంట్ క్లాసెస్ కదండి క్లాస్ కార్ డెమో అనేది టు డిఫరెంట్ క్లాసెస్ కదా yes yes సో డెమో అనే క్లాస్ లో మనం ఈ ఈ మెథడ్స్ ని డైరెక్ట్ గా కాల్ చేసేసాం ఏమి రిలేషన్ లేదు అనుకుంటాం రెండిటికి టు క్లాసెస్ కి కార్ కార్ ఇస్ వన్ క్లాస్ డెమో ఇస్ అనదర్ క్లాస్ రైట్ ఆ వాట్ ఇస్ యువర్ క్వశ్చన్ నౌ టెల్ మీ డెమో క్లాస్ లో మనము కార్ క్లాస్ లో ఉన్న మెథడ్స్ ని డైరెక్ట్ గా యూస్ చేసాం అంటే ఎక్స్టెండ్స్ అట్లా ఏం చేసుకోలేదు ఇట్స్ నాట్ రిక్వైర్డ్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ రిక్వైర్డ్ ఓకే ఇట్స్ నాట్ రిక్వైర్డ్ టు ఎక్స్టెండ్ బికాజ్ హౌ వి ఆర్ యాక్సెసింగ్ ఇస్ విత్ హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ రిఫరెన్స్ ఓకే జస్ట్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ రిఫరెన్స్ మల్టిపుల్ వేస్ యు యు ఆర్ రైట్ యు ఆర్ రైట్ దేర్ ఆర్ మల్టిపుల్ వేస్ వన్ ఇస్ వన్ వే ఇస్ యు నో బై ఎక్స్టెండింగ్ మీన్స్ ఇన్హెరిటెన్స్ కాన్సెప్ట్ యు ఆర్ యు ఆర్ ఆస్కింగ్ మీ రైట్ దట్ ఇన్హెరిటెన్స్ కాన్సెప్ట్ విల్ కమ్ లేటర్ ఓకే for now okay. this is a way to do it okay so we are actually creating objects and using the object reference we are calling this methods okay okay the way okay. we are calling the methods of this particular class is by creating an object and by using that object reference of that particular object we are calling the methods that is the way we are doing okay that is the relation for now okay okay, okay? so going ahead you will understand more like uh, going ahead you will understand more okay 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 so sir. this is just a beginning this is just a beginning guys okay sir here sir you have created one constructor right uh, we can create many asl right yeah we can create multiple constructor also that will cover later okay okay sir upcoming concepts yeah. are coming so where you can create multiple constructors also but uh, that will i'll be cover later okay yeah i don't know this construct is like like a global method right it's you cannot call it as a global method constructor is a constructor only it's like a method only okay constructor is similar to method but you know while creating object only constructor will be called the difference between method yeah. and constructor is for calling the method you have to explicitly use object reference and call it right yeah you are using object reference and explicitly calling the methods but for constructor are you yes. explicitly using object reference and calling it you are writing a separate line for the constructor calling no no, no. in the object okay. creation only the constructor is getting called that's the main difference hmm. yeah okay you got it right so that difference yes, we are yes. utilizing for initializing the variables we don't have to even write a single line to initialize the variables in the object creation statement itself we are initializing the variables right so constructors are ultimately what the constructors are doing they are simplifying the process of initializing the variables for us that's the main intention of the constructors hmm. okay. clear for you yeah without declaring that uh, variables uh, can we uh, declare the variables inside the constructor why we have to do that if you declare this variables inside the constructor can other methods can access the variables no right no no, no. that's the problem they will become local mm -hmm. variables that's for the constructor and that will be a problem because we want all these variables to be accessed throughout the class hmm understood so it has to be global variables only yes yes understood na yeah so for everything okay. there is a Thank answer you. okay for everything there is an answer okay so that's like that okay Yeah, any other questions guys ah uh, sir yeah uh we can initialize uh variables inside the method also right sir am i correct we can initialize the variables inside the methods that's correct we can do that correct uh same thing we'll do in constructor also right sir constructor also we can do the same thing right correct uh -huh. but here in this case here in this case we should not initialize the variables inside the constructor because the variables are needed for other methods the variables will become local variables if you do so if you create the variables 
if you declare the variables inside the constructor and initialize them inside the constructor only, what will happen? Uh, sorry, sir, I didn't get you. Can okay, so, so your question is what? Your question is initializing the variables inside the constructor. Already we are doing the same thing, right? But declaring yes. we are doing outside. Okay. Okay. These are global variables uh, for a reason. Why? Because these global variables need to be accessed throughout the class, not just the constructor. That's why we are making global variables and we are initializing them in a constructor. Okay. But, but okay. for method, it, it should not happen like that. Like, uh, like, am I correct, sir? For methods means, these methods means you are saying? Within, within the method only, we can uh, initialize, sir. There is no difference between constructor and method in terms of initializing. But the problem is, the problem is this side. You have to see this side. This side is the same thing. If you put method here, constructor here, doesn't matter. The solution that we are seeing is, if, if you have a method in place of this constructor, if you have a method, what will happen? I have to call this method separately in a separate line. H-A-M-Z dot initialize some uh, method name I have to give and then pass these arguments to that particular method. Inside the method only we are initializing, right? But if you replace that method with a constructor, what's happening? You don't have to write that separate line. You just call this constructor. Automatically while creating object only, you are calling the constructor, right? In that constructor calling statement only, you are passing the arguments. That one line will be reduced. But there is no okay. difference between a method and constructor. Okay, sir. Got it. Only sir, difference between thing. method and constructor is the name of the constructor will be same as the name of the class and return type won't be there for the constructor. Remaining all same as method only. Remaining everything is same as method only. There is no difference between a constructor and a method. Everything is same. Only the difference between a method and constructor is the name of the constructor should match with the name of the class and the return type of the constructor will not be there. For methods, return type will be there. At least void will be there or some data type will be there. But here for constructor, nothing will be there. That is the main difference. And another difference here is the constructors will be automatically called when you create an object, but methods will be automatically called when you create an object. Will the methods will be automatically called when the ob objects are created? Will that happen? No, 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 that is not possible, right? For the methods to be called, we have to say H A M Z D and start the okay. and call the method like start car, like the way you have called the methods, right? H A M Z dot initialize the car or something like that. You have to call the method. But here for constructor, are you explicitly calling the method? Are you yes. explicitly calling the constructor? No. While creating object only, constructor is being called. Apart from there, there is no difference between a constructor and a method. Everything is same. Same concept applies for method and constructor. Okay? Okay. Um, sir, one more thing, small thing. Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, here, uh, the current code is of two codes are in two lines. I didn't get that. I didn't get that. Come again. Uh, can you speak loud? There are two screens, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't get that again. Come again. So there are two, two codes. Two codes, right, sir? Sir, separate. Paka paka na. Oh no. Hmm, yeah. I, 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 we uh drag just on our economy drag just on our two pistol consuming on the tires. Okay, okay. You want to see how I am doing that, right? Yes, yes, sir. Like here. Uh, uh, if I close this, for example, if I close this, right? If I close this, okay. If I close this, now there are two classes. I'll open one class, car class. Now I'll open the another class, demo class. Now two classes are there here, right? Class and demo. Okay. I just need to drag this side. Like if I drag like this, it will come down. If I drag like this, it will go to the right side. Just drop it. Okay, sir. The once you see that suggestions, right? Just drop it. Now you can create one more class, drag it down. At a time you can see in a single view four classes also, if you want. Oh, and if you want to resize, you see you can do like this, okay? Like this, okay? And also okay, you can sir. minimize this if you want to see in a big view, okay? Up to you. Now is it clear? Yeah, thank you, sir. I think that is the question, right? Fine. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay. Any other questions, guys? Guys, any other questions you have? I don't know. Just for a clarification, I'm asking this. Yeah, no problem. Ask. The constructor which we have used is car one. Mm. Previously, um, we had the initialization without params to have the params to be passed. Just we are declaring purpose. We are using that here, right in the class car. Mm, I get, didn't get your question. Come again. Okay. Uh, earlier, we one. are creating a method. Okay, public initialize. Mm. That, that and all I am clear. Uh, yeah, I'll for, say init uh, car or something. Simple. I'll say init car. I'll give otherwise simple name. Okay, init car. Let's say. Okay, this is a method name. Okay, in the method name, I'll give the same parameters again. Okay, and I'm doing the same thing here also. The method also I'm doing the same thing. Right? Method will have a return type void. Okay, constructor will not have a return type, and the name of the constructor will match with the name of the class. Method can have a different name. Apart from the class car uh, class name, you can have different name here and return type will be there. This is the only difference between method and a constructor. Okay. Now, so in this uh, code, now I can initialize with the help of a method. Now I can initialize with the help of the constructor. If I have to initialize with the help of method, what I have to do? I have to write like this: H A M Z dot that method I have to call. In it, our method I have to call and I have to pass all these arguments to this particular method. Okay. Like this also, I can initialize. Okay, with the method, I have to initialize like this. But with the constructor, I don't need this line. Here, anyhow, constructor calling statement is already there in the object creation. I just need to pass the arguments here. This constructor will be called here. Okay, that's the only difference. Now, ask your question. Is it same or? Uh, uh, is it uh, what? Uh, just it. Um, actually, we use the constructor for creating the object. So... No, we, we don't use constructor to the purpose of the constructor is not to create the object. Then we the purpose of the constructor is car... to simplify the you see what we are doing is what we are doing is first of all we are using the new keyword okay for creating an object. New car, this much is enough actually. Okay, to create an object, this much is enough. But as per the syntax of Java, we are we are supplying here circular brackets and putting a semicolon. Okay, so now now you see when I when I'm giving this circular brackets right error is coming why because here we have a constructor already created earlier it was fine right now we are getting an error so here now you can create one constructor object car empty constructor you create now the error will be gone is it gone yeah yes that means earlier also I have written this one when this particular constructor was not there. When the constructor was not there when I created the error was not coming, but this code is there or not earlier. Earlier, this code was not there or not when I create initially when I created the objects. Was this code available? No, right? No, it was no. not there. But still, error was not coming, right? Even this code was not there, also error was not coming. The reason behind that is Java internally maintains this constructor for us. This constructor will be internally created by Java. For every class, there will be a constructor hidden, hidden. Hidden empty default uh, constructor will be there in the code that we will not see. Java will maintain for us. You can explicitly create, or if you don't create also, no problem. The moment you say new car, right? Nothing happened earlier also. The object got created, but here constructor was also correct. Constructor calling statement was already there. But how can the constructor calling statement be there without the constructor available in the class? Because Java is internally maintaining a Empty hidden constructor for us. In empty means no code will be there. Hidden means not visible. Okay. Internally. Right. Okay. But the moment you create a constructor, an explicit constructor with some parameters, then these things will not work. You should have must create an explicit constructor, empty hidden explicit constructor for such kind of stuff. Okay. 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 Now you are getting my yeah. point, right? What, yeah, uh, we are overriding the already existing method. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Uh, you know, uh, overriding, you cannot say overriding. That is a different thing. Okay. I'll okay. tell you later. Okay. Okay. It's a different concept. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it right? Yeah. Right. So this thing I'll repeat tomorrow also. Okay. So, okay. So fine. If you have not understood, just uh, let me know. Okay. I will again start from, you know, basic things, how things happen. With constructor concept, I'll start and then explain this concept. You will understand again. Okay.
డిఫరెన్స్ అండ్ here initialization part will become easy with method or constructor for method i have to write a separate line for constructor no. i don't have to write a separate line okay this few yes, things yes. are the things you have to check now we don't need this method right any constructor is anyhow therefore initialization okay i'll remove that okay but i will repeat tomorrow a bit so that uh, more things okay you will understand it better way okay in terms of constructor i'll explain tomorrow fine okay okay thank you sir yeah fine any other questions guys guys any other questions fine great guys great fine so that's all for today tomorrow we'll meet and continue with the same concept and i'll explain i'll uh, info uh, emphasize more on the constructors tomorrow okay and explain the same logic again i'll share you this code three variations of the code and with uh, you know just uh, classes and objects one 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 set i'll share you and uh, constructors another set set i'll share you and um, or else i'll share you simply project you can go here to the classes object and constructors and initialize me three sections you can see from the project code okay so fine let's see i'll just take care okay so if you don't have any questions you can leave the meeting guys okay i'll start sharing the notes now if you have any questions you can ask me you can be there in the class and you can ask me also i'll give an assignment also try to do it right at least okay it's not compulsory you have to do but i'll try to do it okay so today's uh, notes today's not same as yesterday's notes yes right same as yesterday's notes only matters yeah today's notes same as uh, yesterday's and day before yesterday's notes okay so no need to share the notes again and uh, the next thing is a uh, code i have to share i'll just uh, close all this stuff then right click properties go to the project location 